हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट द चैप्टर ऑप्टिक्स सो ऑप्टिक्स इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ फिजिक्स इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द नेचर प्रॉपर्टीज एंड बिहेवियर ऑफ द लाइट सो नेक्स्ट व्हाट इज लाइट सो लाइट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी दिस इज अवर बेसिक डेफिनेशन बट इन क्लास ट्वेल्व वी विल स्टडी दैट लाइट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ लाइट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक स्पेक्ट्रम सो इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक स्पेक्ट्रम कंसिस्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट रेज दैट इज गामा रेज एक्स रेज यू वी रेज विजिबल लाइट इंफ्रा रेड रेज माइक्रो वेव्स एंड द रेडियो वेव सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट वेव्स प्रेजेंट इन द इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक स्पेक्ट्रम सो इन दिस इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक स्पेक्ट्रम वी विल स्टडी ओनली दिस रीजन विजिबल लाइट हुज वेव लेंथ स्टार्ट फ्रॉम फोर थाउजेंड एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग टू सेवन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग दिस रेंज ऑफ वेव लेंथ वी आर स्टडिंग एंड दैट वी विल कॉल इट एज विजिबल लाइट दिस पोर्शन वी आर स्टडिंग इन द ऑप्टिक्स so why we are studying only this region means this region we can sense through our eyes remaining rays we cannot see through our eyes because they are not developing proper voltage they can't develop proper voltage in our eyes but this range of wavelength from 4000 angstrom to 7600 angstrom this range of wavelength can develop a proper voltage in our eyes so that we can sense the things that we are calling it as the seeing so because of that this range of wavelength we will call it as the visible light so we are studying about this light so next light light is a part of the electromagnetic spectrum so now we will know what are the properties of the electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves has two special property that it can carry energy and it can propagate so same light is a part of electromagnetic spectrum means light can uh, light is also having those two properties that light can carry energy and it can propagate so when it propagates it will travel in some particular direction and that direction we will call it as the ray of light ray of light means it is the direction of the light in which the light is propagating so next this light is having the dual nature light has dual nature light is having the dual nature means light can travel in a straight line direction means in a ray type or else it can propagate in the form of waves so it is having the two type of nature so for that reason this we are calling light is having the dual nature because of this dual nature we are studying the optics under the two branches so optics is divided into two branches one is the ray optics and another one is the wave optics so this optics is studied under ray optics and the wave optics in ray optics using this ray optics concept we can explain the phenomenon like reflection refraction and the dispersion so here i will write reflection refraction and dispersion and in wave optics so reflection refraction and dispersion these three phenomenon can be explained with the help of the ray optics but when we want to explain the interference diffraction and polarization this type of phenomenon can't be explained with the help of ray optics so for we have to uh, apply the wave optics so here we can explain interference diffraction and polarization
so these three phenomenon can be explained with the help of wave optics and these phenomenon can be explained with the help of the ray optics next another basic difference between ray optics and wave optics is that in ray optics we are dealing with the macroscopic objects means the objects whose dimension is much bigger as compared as compared to the wavelength of the light so here we are dealing with the macroscopic object and here in wave optics we are dealing with the microscopic object means at my at quantum level we are studying microscopic objects microscopic object means at quantum level we are studying in wave optics because the dimension of the object is comparable to the wavelength of the light means it is a very very small object so that we will study in the wave optics and in a ray optics whatever the objects we are observing whose dimensions whose size is very much bigger as compared to the wavelength of the light so that is the basic difference between ray optics and the wave optics so next in this chapter we will study this reflection this part wave optics part we will study in the next chapter in this first we will study the ray optics in this ray optics first we will take this phenomenon reflection so what is reflection reflection of light so what is the reflection of light reflection of light means reflection is a one phenomenon in which whenever the source of light striking on any surface the it will reflect back the rays means so the reflected ray is coming back in the same medium that phenomenon we will call it as the reflection of the light for example here we will take one source this is our source so from this source the light rays will strike and this is our surface this is our surface so on this surface the light rays are striking so after strike when it strikes this surface it will reflect back in the same medium this phenomenon we will call it as the reflection this ray we will call it as the incident ray and this ray we will call it as the reflected ray so this ray of light when it strikes the surface it is reflecting back in the same medium then this phenomenon is called as the reflection so next why it is traveling in this direction means when the light, light ray is traveling why it is not stopping at this pose at this direction means at this place why it is not stopping why it is propagating means here this is our air medium air medium allows the light energy to travel means it is having the permittivity permeability so because of that reason this light energy will travels and it reaches to the surface after reaching the surface it will re returns back or it will reflects so this phenomenon is the reflection so next if this is the surface when the light ray is striking on this surface from any source if the light is coming here when it strikes the surface three things will happen so first one is the absorb first one is the reflection 